Uh, I understand that you have a Gilcrest home. I'm rather proud of this company. Why did you choose Gilcrest? Because exactly that. Somebody told me that that was the best company to go with. I didn't know about Gilcrest, and he told me that if you're going to build, get them to do it. Well, you've heard me say it. If you're going to do it, do it right the first time. And that there would be no comparison that would be better for you people to build it than hire a contractor to build it. So did anybody explain the benefits of uh, Gilcrest Home? Anything? I don't yes, know, just... yes. They told me that everything was built inside with dry wood and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons that I went for that. And I did go to the company and I looked at it and I was quite impressed. The pros of that are so good. So you're not building a home, the foundation goes, and you're not building a stick frame home. Six months later, you're hoping it's closed in and Mother Nature has snowed on it, rained on it, high winds and really, really gets too much moisture inside the cavity. When we build, we need to pay attention to a low moisture content before we drywall, and we don't. It's, there's no one enforcing that. Uh, they just try and cover it up, it's, and that's what I call it, it's a cover up. When you build indoors like this, it isn't just about buying smarter, building smarter, faster. The benefits far, far are, uh, succeed above just standard stick framing. Now you add, what did we talk about the attic space? Yes. R71. That's right. What does R stand for? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a builder. <laughs> okay, you marry you. <laughs> That's okay. It stands for resistance. Okay. So our value is resistance and depth of, uh, of an insulation. And we have different types of insulation. We have spray foam, half pound, two pound, blown in cellulose. Uh, having an R71 is like having a very thick blanket on your bed. Yes. It's so thick, as a matter of fact, that you probably throw it off when you're sleeping. But in this case, in the home, you really want to protect the attic space. You want to stop that hot air from losing or wanting to leave the property. Yes. At the same time, the hot penetration of the sun, you don't want it to reflect back down right. again. So that's a huge benefit. The standard minimum coat of R31 in the walls, that's above coat. And when I see above code, that makes me a happy guy. Right. It means, you know, we want to see more in the attic than we do in the walls if we understand science, mm -hmm. but just hearing those two numbers are a really wonderful thing. Your subfloor has not been rained on. That's right. And how many times have I walked through a stick frame home and the subfloor is doing one of these? And it should. It's only because it's saturated and held so much water. Nobody cares about it. This house was erected how fast? Fast. <laughs> it was fast. Day, two days. That's right. So pretty much three days is what we're looking at right, right now. And we can almost have dinner in the kitchen. That's right. Almost. But I think patience is a virtue. We'll have to wait for it to get finished. Good. Are you happy? Very pleased. Very, yeah. very pleased. And I'm happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. Have a good one. Let's do it right together. <laughs> we might invite you after for a dinner. Please do. <laughs> Meat and potatoes? Everything. I'm in. <laughs> French cooking. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you, sir. Okay. Too cute.